Um, thank you very much for uh, having me here uh, today. It's a great uh, pleasure and a honor to be here at the Committee of the Regions on the, um, on the program of the, such an important uh, conference. As it was already said, I have been the rapporteur of a um, dossier of the European uh, Parliament regarding the social inclusion and integration of uh, refugees into the labor market, uh, which was adopted in July, as was said, uh, with a broad, uh, a broad majority, luckily. Uh, I will talk about the, the difficulty of this topic uh, uh, later in my short intervention, but uh, uh, we, we got a, a good uh, support. and. Uh, I am now involved um, in uh, the revised uh, reception conditions uh, uh, directive and the qualifications regulations uh, regulation in the employment committee, uh, which are very technical pieces of uh, legislation that are central uh, to the um, re revision of the common asylum uh, policy of the European Union. Uh, I'm also following for my political group as a, a shadow rapporteur uh, the blue uh, card uh, directive, which was in fact one of the points in my uh, parliamentary uh, report. So I am happy in fact that the European Commission uh, has been working in, in, a, in, in some ways in parallel and in, in, uh, in harmony with the indications coming from the European Parliament in this, uh, in this uh, field, especially from the work done by the LIBE and EMPOL committees. Um, I also have to say that uh, I, I'm pleased I had the chance uh, already a few months ago to uh, discuss uh, with the European Economic and Social uh, Committee as well as with uh, Mr. Karl van Lowe, uh, the rapporteur of the Committee of the uh, Regions on the topic uh, during the preparation of this uh, uh, report. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't be uh, present earlier today. I only listened to uh, the last few interventions. Uh, unfortunately, it's a very active period in the parliament for many reasons. Also, you may understand in my country, <laughs> I'm Italian. Uh, I, I have anyway uh, read the, um, uh, the, uh, uh, the document uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, the rapporteur uh, with great interest and I'm happy that in fact there are a lot of points of contact between the work of, uh, uh, of us from the parliament and, and the one done at the, level of, at the level of the committee of the regions, uh, as in fact we stress the importance of the role of the local authorities in uh, successful uh, integration. Um, there is in fact uh, a shared understanding in uh, the work of, of the two institutions in the sense of uh, the dual aspect of uh, the uh, integration issue. It's both uh, a challenge and an opportunity. Uh, I wrote clearly in my report that the migration crisis, it is a humanitarian crisis, obviously, but it's also a crisis of policy uh, because the EU was caught uh, largely uh, unprepared. Um, I think it will get worse. It will get even worse than now if solutions for medium and long term, which are still partially lacking, are not found. Uh, I think the need for an holistic approach uh, is uh, uh, fundamental. Uh, th there is a big need for this. Um, and uh, uh, this means uh, having policies, instruments, measures that support uh, the, uh, the social inclusion and integration of refugees into the labor market up to the last point of the chain of the migration issue from the uh, uh, people leaving uh, countries uh, to how they are uh, received in the Austin country. So um, I think the main question to, um, to pose and to understand is if we have economic, social, and legislative conditions now in place for, making, for uh, having this happen in a large scale. The answer is uh, not entirely, actually, uh, because one of the main uh, problems I see today, aside from the lack of cooperation or even hostility in some cases of uh, some countries, some member countries, to work out on a common effective solution, there is also, uh, and we must understand the importance on this, of, of this element, 
the dire macroeconomic condition of our continent following years of crisis and uh, recession. Whatever measure we take to integrate refugees into our economies is to be uh, welcome, but it must be accompanied by serious investments into the society as a whole through job creation policies and ambitious investment strategies. Otherwise, and this was, I would say, the, 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 the philosophy behind my report, I fear that no integration will work because we will see uh, more segmentation, poorer societies, and the divide between rich and poor grow, and so racism uh, can uh, grow easily in such a situation. So responsibilities for a successful and durable uh, social inclusion and integration into our society does not lie upon the EU uh, or the states only, but on the whole uh, uh, society. So local administrations have a big role together with the host communities, uh, the refugees themselves, the social partners, um, which need to be uh, supported uh, from all levels, especially from the European level, also on the resources side. Um, this is well reflected, this approach in the Committee of the Regions uh, uh, document, which uh, is in this sense very much in line with also what we proposed in July. Uh, in this background, against this background, we have best practices are essential to understand what has been working on the ground, what is uh, uh, a positive example to take also in other places especially when uh, they are examined to understand what makes sense in the various local contexts, because obviously the societies, labor markets are different among the member states and among the regions and cities inside the same member state. This is why we need uh, sharing of information, of best practices, um, making the best use of mutual learning programs among the authorities and civil society organizations. Moments like these are also good to exchange contacts and to meet uh, realities that are uh, confronting with the same uh, tasks. And I would say as a person being uh, involved in the employment affairs more widely in, uh, in the European Parliament, that these uh, a uh, 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 large number of uh, uh, asylum seekers and refugees coming is also an opportunity to see some old problems with a new light, better connection, better connection of education and vocational training to the labor market. It's not only an issue for the refugees, it's an a issue for all of our society. I see it by dealing uh, very intense, intensely uh, with the youth guarantee program, for example which in fact is, has been used effectively for integrating young uh, asylum seekers and refugees in many EU countries. And also when we talk about uh, going away with the gender inequality and the discrimination of older workers in, uh, in some uh, workplaces, as well as disabled uh, people uh, and ethnic minorities. Um, Addressing these challenges uh, is precisely what will help integrate uh, migrants, asylum seekers, uh, and, uh, and refugees, uh, and not only the host uh, countries' uh, citizens. Um, I think that uh, what comes from our work, from our uh, exchanges, is that early intervention is crucial, and early intervention can be effective only if the local uh, authorities and the uh, local structures are empowered enough to be able to intervene uh, with the right uh, pace.